Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 with me and this is the Octaco version. Let me show you the same. And as you can see, it runs the ARM Cortex A15 architecture. Uh, it's not sh showing the A7 cores, but this is an Octaco version. And the difference is that it has a Mali GPU. That's the Mali 628 GPU. And we're going to do the benchmarking. And it has three gigs of RAM it's, and it's running on the Android version 4.3. So let me get out of that and let me also first show you the quadrant benchmark and I have already run it so let me show you the scores now. And as you can see our device got a score of 20,078 which is again a chart topping score I would say for quadrant and I also ran the Antutu benchmark. So let me show you the Antutu benchmark scores and we got a score of 33,418 which is actually a very good score. Uh, let me show you the details. And these are the detailed scores for the AM22. Uh, one thing I did notice is that uh, this uh, Octa-Co version of the Note 3 has the Mali 628 GPU and looks like this GPU is not optimized for many games. Hence, for example, I ran this Epic Citadel, which is actually uh, important for gaming distance, uh, test the gaming performance uh, of the device. and. Uh, let me quickly show you the scores that I got. And as you can see, we got an average FPS of just 38 FPS, which is kind of low, I would say. Uh, with flagship devices like this, uh, the minimum FPS I'm looking at is around 50. Uh, for example, I also ran this benchmark on the Note 3, uh, that is the Snapdragon version that has the Arduino 330 GPU. And in that, I got a FPS score of around 57. I also ran this uh, on the Xperia Z1 and I got a FPS of 59. So needless to say, 38 FPS is pretty low. And uh, let me also show you this 3D mark test that I ran though we got some decent score but again if we start comparing it with other devices uh, it was not that high for example in iStorm Extreme we got a score of just 9493 uh, it's not bad I would say for as you can see this is the Exynos uh, Octaco version but uh, the thing is that uh, with the Snapdragon version uh, we were getting a score of around 14,000 or so. So again, uh, looks like this Mali uh, GPU was not that uh, optimized as of now for gaming. With the Snapdragon version, I got some better results in benchmark specifically for gaming. As I always say, I do not pay too much attention on benchmarks, but I did test this Note 3 with a lot of games, as you can see. And yes, I could play most of these games, but uh, in some of the games, uh, I had some issues. For example, Nova 3 was crashing. And in some other games, I was not able to set the graphic levels too high. Again, uh, I'll be making an in-depth review uh, for the gaming with this Note 3 very soon. So looks like the Mali 628 GPU is not fully optimized for a few games, but the situation might change later so stay tuned to my channel i'll be making a lot more videos on the note 3 and also will be posting my full in-depth uh, gaming review for the note 3 so that's it for now this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video